My name is Flora Cholico. I level two in human service. Uh, excited because is uh, the the actors is very good. I like it. Is is I look it is real. Maria and Sandy are sitting at a restaurant. Hello, Sandy. Why are you crying? Sandy, what's wrong? My mom wants me to go to Europe. Why? What happened? She just found out we're bankrupt. Oh, no. What am I going to do, Maria? Tell your mom you'll find a job. Hello, Sandy. Are you done saying goodbye? Hello, Mother. I was talking to Maria about my trip, and she gave me a really good idea. Really? Tell me. I could get a job here and pay off your debt. No. You need to focus on your education. That's why you're going to Europe with my rich sister. But, Mom! <gasps> Get in the car. Now! Wait! A tall, handsome man stops Sandy from entering the car. It is her boyfriend, Anthony. What are you doing here, Anthony? I won the lottery. And I can pay your mother's debt! <gasps> Sandy kisses Anthony a lot. My favorite part is to uh, express my feelings. For me, it's a little shy. Uh, it's, um, sometimes it's turn the camera because for me is shy, but she, she told is express your feelings. I try to express my feelings. Yeah. I like it, but I'm not playing now. <laughs> yes, I, I try to um, write one book uh, for my experience. I try English, yeah, for motivation for the other people, maybe uh, this similar uh, experience. I show is is uh, is uh, club is the the past is past is is um, maybe try study more. It is a hot summer day in the middle of June in Pakistan. Noor and her family are traveling in a train from the city of Multan to the city of Lahore. It is almost for eight hours, and the train has to stop at every train station during the trip. Everyone is very excited, especially Noor. Everyone is on the train in their seats, and the train starts moving slowly, slowly. I'm very excited because we're going so far and traveling in the train. Yes, my sweetie, it is a lovely trip. And I am very happy because you are enjoying it. Yes? Acha, okay. We will meet you there. Yes? 
I will get four more tickets. Do you have to buy more tickets? Yes. I just had a phone call from my sister Jamila. She said that her and her family are going to join us from Feslabat. So I have to get more tickets for them. And I'm planning on buying them. Okay. Maybe from the next station. Then the train stops. Like for 10 to 15 minutes. So Mr. Nahir gets down from the train to buy some tickets. Okay, I'm gonna get down and I'll be back in 10 to 15 minutes. Bye. Okay, bye. Nor is sitting and sees her water bottle is empty. So, she is also planning to get down and get some water. I can go now. Mom is busy taking care of my brother. Okay, let's go. Noor jumps down from the train without telling anyone and starts searching for a water cooler. Hmm. Where is water? Water, water. Here it is. Where do I have to go? I don't know where I have to go. And I don't know which door is the right one and from where I came. There are so many doors. I think I'm lost now. She starts looking all around her. It is so busy everywhere, full of people rushing. Meanwhile, there was a strange man who was looking at her, so he comes to help her. Do you need help? Well, what is your name, little girl? Oh, where's your family? Where do you have to go? Are you lost? Yes, I think I'm lost. I want to find my family. But I don't know where my family is sitting. Okay, okay. Don't cry. I'll help you, okay? Uh, let's see where your family is. Uh, let's look from the windows. The strange man asks different people from windows who are sitting on the train. But no one recognizes Nor. The train is ready to move forward, so everyone starts to get back to the train. Help me, God. Please help me. I'll never do this again. I realize my mistake. First, I have to ask my parents before I take any action. I wonder if my parents are looking for me and worried about me. I realize, oh no, what I did. Oh God, oh, please help me, please. While walking and searching with the strange man for her family, she sees her little brother's face coming out from one of the doors from the train. It looks like he was already standing there and waiting for his sister. There's my brother. I saw him, I know not where I have to go. Thank you, uncle, thank you for your help. Thank you so much. She starts running to get back to her family and meet with her brother and gives him a big hug and thanks him and sits back on the seat. She does not tell anyone what just happened. Hi, is everything okay? Noor seems worried. Hi. Hi. Yes, I am fine. Thanks. Their journey starts again. I realize now. Nothing is important except to be with your family. In this whole world.
I want to use the topic uh, of a pandemic that was relevant at that time and uh, I know people who for, who are forced to stay at home and work from home for the first time in many years. I think that time changed for a lot of people uh, the value of life and this thing, thing inspired me uh, for my story. Lily is sitting at her desk in her office at work. The clock is almost at the end of the working day. All her certificates of successful graduation from the University of Cambridge hang on the wall. She is doing her accounting paperwork and checking documents. Excuse me, may I come in? Yes, come in. Um, so I want, I already did all my work that you said to do. I finished it earlier today and you know, it's my daughter's birthday. May I go now? Cause I promised her that I'd be there. Hmm. I don't like this. Oh, I, I, I'm sure I did it correctly. I already checked it twice. No, you need to check it one more time. So today you cannot go early. You'll stay here one more hour. Why? My daughter, she'll be very upset. I hope you can understand me. But you can't, you have nowhere to rush. No one is waiting for you at home. What did you say? Ah, uh, 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 nothing. Uh, not important. Just thoughts out loud. Sorry about that. I will bring you my report in one hour. Lily starts to have a flashback. A park. Warm fall day. Lily sits on the bench with Dan. Lily reads the book. Darling, you bother me. What are you doing with that pen? Oh, <laughs> it's an old habit from school. By the way, do you want me to show you a trick? You already showed that one. Uh-huh. That's another one. Look. Dan waves his right hand and pulls out a flower from the left side of Lily's shoulder. I have to finish reading this book. And I have English class later, too. You know it. Dan stares at her book, pretending to read with her. Evan, did you finish your work? Uh, not yet. I just wanted to see if maybe you changed your mind. She is waiting for me. Who? My daughter? Today is her birthday? Please? Yes, I remember. You told me about it before. Uh, but you need to finish your work at the end of the day. Okay. Lily goes to the window, which fills her with flashbacks. She is remembering the happiest moments in her life with Dan and their last meeting. A park gloomy, cloudy day. And yet, I would like to show you this trick. Believe me, you will like it. 
Dan, you don't understand. I need to tell you something very important. Oh, okay, if you say so. But after that, I will show you my best trick. We need to break up. Darling, don't say that. What happened? Did I hurt you? If yes? I am flying to England. I got in a master's program. Do you really want it? You've already made your decision. I want to build a good career. And it would be foolish of me to not take this chance. I've dreamed of this my whole life. I worked very hard for this and I... I think I should go. I have a flight tomorrow. Lily leaves with quick steps. She stops after a couple of steps as if she wants to turn back, but leaves. Dan watches Lily leave. He was holding a box with a ring in his hand. This would be his best trick, but she will never know about it. like to share the idea that every time when we are make choice we are change our destiny uh, for the good way or for the bad way only time will show it I think but uh, when you faced with a difficult choice uh, you just need uh, to flip a coin this will not give the right answer, but at the moment when the coin is in the air, you already know what you are hoping for. I think it can help. And yes, <laughs> I think so. Every choice is uh, change our faith and destiny. I love every part of our playwriting class. It was great experience for me. I learned a lot. I see a lot of improving in my English. Of course, I have uh, more problems, but I think I'm on my way. Uh, I'm, I feel more free in when I speak or when I uh, write something. Uh, I am Ardiana. I am from Kosovo and I am married. I have my husband and three kids and I came here uh, almost three years ago and I'm lucky to came here because it is beautiful country. Chicago is a beautiful city with good people. Outside everything is clean, it's beautiful. And I'm lucky I'm here and I want to live here. It is good for me. Thanks God we are here. Chicago, 2020, the laboratory of Dr. Sarah. There is an armored door on one side of the room. I am going to destroy the world with this virus I've created. <laughs> no, I will never allow it. You could never break into my secret lab to get the virus. It's made out of steel metal from the depths of the earth. I will use my magical powers to open this door. Supergirl starts to use her magic and strength to open the secret lab door. You will not! Because you know that I am right. You know that we must destroy humanity and start again. What? What are you talking about? You are a superhero. 
You're a good person who fights criminals and evil every day. You know that people are bad. You know that we must destroy everything and start again. Maybe you're right. I don't know. I've seen a lot of terrible things in my life. My brother was taken from me when we were very young. I can't believe people can be so cruel. Sometimes I want to take revenge. I think about this. <laughs> so you want to join me? We can finish this world off together. You and me. Unstoppable. In the name of my brother, I want to use my power to destroy your virus. To stop you. I don't want to see people suffering or dying. Dr. Sarah attacks <laughs> you in a fight. Supergirl finally breaks down the armored door and enters the secret lab. Fire shoots from Supergirl's hands and it burns up the virus, destroying it. The police arrive. They arrest Dr. Sarah. I'm not finished yet, Supergirl. You will see me again. You are finished. I don't ever want to see your face again. You're going to prison for a long time, Sarah. <clears throat> I am proud to see uh, the actors to play my right. I am proud of myself. Uh, I learned much more when I started. I didn't know very well to speak and to write and to understanding. But day by day, every day, we teaching in the class online from home. It is good for me because uh, I learn much more and it is all teachers good for us. And we was like family to see every day each other to share our homework and to learn how to speak, how to write, how to understand, and it's helped me too much. My name is Dima Suleiman. I'm from Iraq. I'll be 44 years old. May 8th. Scene 1. The waiting room at the U.S. Citizenship Office in downtown Chicago. Here, Dima. Here is the report for you. You show this to the citizenship officer and you will not take the test. I can do the test, Baba. I don't need this paper. You can't do it. You are disabled. You will never pass the test. No, I can. I can. I am sure that I can do the test. No, no, you can't. Remember last time? I was with you in the room. You did not pass the test, and they did not believe you were disabled. We had to go to the doctor to get this report. You will show it to the citizenship people. Baba, please give me a chance. Dima Suleiman, come with me. I'm gonna go back with you. I want to go inside alone. I don't want to go inside with my dad. I'm sorry, you can't come in. She has to be alone. She doesn't know how to speak. Don't worry. She is clever and smart. She can do it. Oh, 
here is the report about my disability. Okay, I will keep it just in case, but I am sure you don't need it. Scene two, in Susan's office. Well, Dima, that's the end of the test. Congratulations, you passed. <laughs> Can I give you a big hug? Yeah, sure. <laughs> the two hug. So, do you want to keep your name, Dima Basin Suleiman? No. I want to do it Dima Suleiman. I want to be sure about the spelling. Let's go talk to your father. Scene three, back in the waiting room. Ah, so did you pass the test? I don't know. I don't know. Did she pass the test? I don't know the results of the test yet. <laughs> yes! Yippee! <laughs> yeah, yeah. They didn't even need the report. I took the test and I passed the test. I reached my goal. <laughs> we just wanted to check on the spelling of your last name. It's S-U-L-A-I-M-A-N, right? Yes, that's it. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you. <sighs> you know, I don't like it when people say, Disabled people can't do this or this. We can do it. Just give us a chance or time. I liked what um, the most thing I liked it that we could hear all the stories and uh, we learn from the stories and hear more good things about the people in the world. I hope all people can learn from my play and my uh, experience what happened to me uh, uh, and they could learn from it and do the same thing that disabled people can't do it. They are normal people and lovely people. <laughs> <laughs>